I'll bowl it to Charles, Mr. Speaker. Equifax is saying that the non-mortgage uh, debt rate is over $21,000. The company also reports that more than half of Canadians worry about not being able to pay their monthly bills. In the last two years, this Prime Minister has spent over $200 billion on expenses that had nothing to do with the pandemic. $200 billion. That's the equivalent of federal taxes for 27 million middle-class Canadians. This way, once again, can he commit to, his in, to stop his inflationary spending and stop raising taxes on Canadians? They've had enough. The Honourable Member, uh, the Honourable Minister for Canadian Heritage. We have to ask who wrote my colleague's question because well, he's just copying the message from web giants. It's as if the web giants are asking his questions. If he was truly interested in what's happening in Canada, he would be worried for our democracy, for regional media, for national media, for, what, for independent news. But instead of that, he's just repeating the message from Facebook and other web giants instead of defending Canadians. The Honourable Member for Charlebourg saint charles Mr. Speaker, how can my colleague explain that since uh, taking office in 2015, the Prime Minister has increased the country's debt to over $1 trillion? Desjardins says that Canadian taxpayers will have to pay $49.5 billion this year alone in interest on that debt. How did we get there? With inexplicable spending by the Prime Minister, for example, f for giving two multi-million dollar loans to the Irving family, giving $50 million to MasterCard, giving $12 million to Loblaws for refrigerator purchases. These are just a few of many examples. Will the Prime Minister finally commit to stop the spending spree that only increases the debt and burden on Canadians? The Honourable Minister. I'll give you some, uh, some more examples, Mr. Speaker. What is happening with regards to culture? What is happening with regards to our artists and creators? And instead of helping culture and uh, voting for Bill C-11, they're blocking it in the Senate. They're blocking it in the Senate. So once again, instead of defending our culture, our TV, our music, and our TV shows, what are they doing? They are just spreading what web giants want them to spread. For once, instead of repeating messages... Let's have a spine and finally defend Canadians.